May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Did he now? Huh. The man is persistent. I'll give him that. I suppose it's time I give him an answer. Proventus, what do you make of all this? If Ulfric were to attack White Brother. As in all things, Lord, caution. I urge us to wait and see. Pray wait. I'm of a mind with Ireleth. It's time to act. You plan to march on Windhelm? I'm not a fool, Proventus. I mean it's time to challenge Ulfric to face me as a man. Or march his storm cloaks up to the gates. He'll do no such thing. A dagger in the back is all you could expect. He was rather straightforward with Torig. Torig? He simply walked up to the boy and murdered him! That boy was High King of Skyrim. I'm not the High King. But neither am I a boy. If Ulfric wants to challenge my rule in the old way, let him. Though I suspect he'll prefer to send his storm cloaks to do it for him. True. He's already proven his personal strength. Now he seeks to prove his armies. Then might I urge you to consider General Tullius' request? I mean, if you are bent on offending Jarl Ulfric. Ulfric is the one who has offended. But Proventus has a point. Ulfric has made it clear. In his mind, to refuse his claim is to side with the Empire. And what harm is there in letting a few legionnaires die in place of your own men? It seems cowardly. Was it cowardly, then, to accept the White Gold Concordat? This again? That was different. Was I given a chance to object to the terms of the treaty? No. The Jarls weren't asked. We were told. And we had to like it. The chests of gold didn't hurt. Damn it! This isn't about gold! It's time to decide. Lord, wait. Let us see if Ulfric is serious. Oh, he's serious. But so am I. Finally. So about this axe. You can return this axe to our friend. The esteemed Jarl of Wind... Proventus, bring me my pen. And the good parchment. Are we writing a letter, Lord? Yes, to General Talius. I need to make a few things clear before I accept these legionnaires of you.